In this video, I'm going to show you one of the most easy monthly themes I've ever done. Hey guys, it's Emilia here and we haven't seen each other for more than 3 months. Today I'm going to show you an amazing lavender theme and I'm going to explain further in this video where did they went missing. For now you can enjoy my July theme because you're not gonna see any other video from this team. My SD card broke and I lost everything inside it like forever. But no worries, you can check all my weekly spreads on my Instagram page or you can just pause the video right now. Yay! Anyway, apparently I managed to preserve the August video, so here we are right now. And I will show you the most easy lavender theme ever. For it you need just a soft tip markers. I personally like Kuret. Take, take. I'm not so sure how to pronounce this honestly, but anyway, it doesn't matter which brand you use as long as it has a soft tip. As the lavender flowers have purple color, I choose two purple pens, one lighter and one darker. In this way, my color scheme will be a bit more diverse. We also have some greenies for the grass, but if you don't want extra colors, you can skip the green part. I prepared three nuances of green at the beginning because I didn't know which one will suit the best, so I just prepared them on a the side. As we have the colors set, we can start with the lavender stems. I drew them with Micron 01. I try to draw them as freely as possible so they can look as naturally as they can on that page. I cross them, I make curves, different sizes. The only thing that I don't do is making the stems with straight lines. Which to be honest is kind of strange because if you look at any, any lavender flower, you will see how incredible straight are the stems. Anyway, we're drawing an easy theme and not a painting from 1800, so don't do straight lines, make these curves. I also do a small long leaves here, yay! You can see them now. And it's time for magic! So I get the darker purple pen and I make my hand feel comfortable with around 45 degree tilted angle of the tip. Then I apply a bit of pressure and quickly pull up the pen after. In this way I achieve a beautiful drop-like shape of the lavender leaves. The pointy end of the drop-like figure is pointed at the lavender stem because it looks more appealing this way. At least to me, you can do whatever you want. Then I continue doing the same movement down the stem and voila! Yep, it's that easy. I quickly repeat the same thing on another stamp. Honestly, it's kinda hard to manage the same angle all the time, but you'll get used to it after like 3 or 4 lavender flowers. If you reduce the pressure, you can even make tiny baby lavender flowers. And, and yes, pressure. This is what I'm forgetting. So I will make a quick stop here and flip back to our test page to show you more in details how you can do a smaller leaves. So here is how it looks like with a big tilt and pressure. If you reduce the pressure, you can make a smaller leaves. And if you don't put any pressure at all, just touch the tip, you can make a tiny baby leaves like this one here. Keep in mind that no matter the pressure, you need to maintain an angle around 45 degrees or don't measure it, just feel it in your hand. Going back to the main page, I continue doing the same thing over and over again with the small and large leaves. As I will use also a lighter purple, I need to leave a bit of space for this color as well. I really want to blend them both on this page and not do only dark purple and then only white purple. Basically, this is what we are doing and yep, this is that easy. You just repeat this over and over again. Yep, that's all guys. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. No, just joking. I have a few more things to talk about and we are gonna do a few more things on the ballet journal. So thinking about it, I can't believe that the summer is almost over. Keep in mind that even this is my August theme, I'm doing the voiceover now in mid-September and August already passed. It's been a hell of a crazy summer, that crazy that I went missing from all social media platforms all at once, but I'm back here people! So this summer was an important part of my life because I had a chance to realize how big part of my life was messed up. Initially the Covid messed up everything at the first place, but the rest I did it to myself alone. I don't want to talk a lot about this, so 
I will sum it up in a few sentences so you can just get the point. Basically, when COVID started, I got antisocial like most of the people on this planet. But the thing is that I kept being antisocial for a long time. Combine this with a workaholism and you have a receipt for a disaster mental health, which includes mood swings, 10 minute depression periods, lack of motivation for anything and here we go to the rabbit hole because when i couldn't finish a project i got sad i got depressed and because i'm sad and depressed i didn't want to do any other projects i think you got the idea i'm sure that each one of you watching this video right now have dealt with similar issues at some point of it's just a human thing however i decided to finally make something about it I knew that at some point in my life I was really happy person, like initially happy one. So I opened one of my old bullet journals, circa 2019, and I tried to make a list of all the activities I was doing back then. The result was nearly shocking for me. But I will leave you for a minute on this cliffhanger to say a few more things about the theme I'm doing right now. As you see, I made the green grass underneath the flowers. I really like to have two main colors on my themes, but if you're making this theme in your bullet journal and you feel like more minimalistic, feel free to skip the grass and just leave the lavenders. I think it will turn out amazing and I would love to do it as well in my journal, but as you know, I don't get along with the minimalistic spread so far. So I'm gonna keep it with purple and green. I also add a beautiful calligraphic August on the cover and then I add a quick hello, as always. As I'm using two purples for my lavenders, I really wanted to make the heading in two colors as well. So I added a dark purple on the top of the light purple, which I calligraphed just a minute ago. I think the result is stunning and as you see, it's not that hard to make. I just repeat the lines with a darker paint and the same tilt, but I just stop in the middle, like I draw on an imaginary horizontal line in the middle of the word August and I try just to follow it and don't cross it. And uh, yep, then I continue to the left page. Going back to my story, um, I noticed a big difference in my life now and the one I got back then in 2019. And the most surprising thing for me was that the difference was not in the big events. I mean, nowadays I still go on one or two week travels, I still attend big family gatherings, I go on parties. So I still have my big events in my life right now. That, that was the amazing discovery for me that the little secret was in the small daily events. I was making every day special in some way back then in 2019. I made myself a morning tea, I had a quick chat with my neighbors, I went on a quick walk in the park just to listen to a chapter from my audiobook. And now in 2022, these little events are gone from my life. I was working and sleeping and working and sleeping till some big multi day event comes. Yes, I was literally working till something big happens. And I was looking forward only to this big moment. I don't know if you understand me or if I'm explaining it right, but if I was waiting for a travel that was gonna happen a month ahead of the time right now, I was going just to work and sleep, work and sleep till that moment comes and I go to the tribal party party and then come back and be stuck again in that work sleep routine. Miserable, isn't it? So I decided to change this this summer and now at the end, three months later, I can say that it was successful. Back to the journal for a bit, you know how much I love quotes, so I add a lyrics from Taylor Swift song, August, as it is one of my favorite songs from this album of hers. By the way, if you enjoyed this video so far, don't forget to give it a like or even subscribe to the channel. I will try to post twice in a month, so I won't spam your homepage a lot. I flip the page and start my brain up and monthly organization pages. I will do the same spread as I did in my June video, as I found it more suitable for my needs. I will have a project planning field, a month of a glass and many small brain dumps. Wonderful, isn't it? Probably you're wondering what changed this summer for me to achieve this state of mind. 
Well, you may wondering or you may not be wondering, so if you are not wondering, you can mute this video right now and continue watching me drawing this spread in complete silence. If you're still listening, then I will tell you my secret. I started paying attention. My last two years were focused only on the big events that were gonna come. So my day-to-day -day life was boring and full of nothingness. The first thing that I started to change something in my life is starting to walk to my work and literally watch people. I, <laughs> I don't want to sound creepy, but yes, I literally watch people. I watch the cars, the dogs, even the grass on my way to work. And this presence in the moment made me feel like I was part of this world, like for the first time in the last two years, even though I was just walking on my way to work. I started also doing more shared activities with my friends, like quizzes or going to volunteer together somewhere. I started learning a new language, started learning how to cook and preparing my own meal. All these little activities were a game changer for me. Unfortunately, we have 24 hours per day and doing all these things mean that I had less time for social media. I had less time to edit and voice over my videos and, and as I really appreciate you guys, I didn't want it just to upload a low quality video for you. I wanted to wait as much as it's needed so I can return back to you with the same energy and offer you this 10 minute joy while watching my videos. Um, so yep, you can guess that I missed you a lot, but I needed to take care of myself first. So, yep, this is what I did this summer. I just enjoyed the little things in life. It was kind of hard in the start, but um, I can explain it more in details if you're interested, but I really don't want to, you know, talk you like one hour about self-improvement and stuff. There are enough YouTube channels for this. I just share my own experience. Um, as I said, it's just a human thing. And honestly, I'm more than happy to see that even I went missing for three months, our family here grew a bit bigger. And recording this voiceover right now feels like I'm saying hi again to a close sibling that I haven't seen in a while. So I guess here in this video, I showed you my August theme and a bit of my soul. If you liked one of them, I will be happy to see you here more often. If you like none of them, then I can wish you a wonderful life and I hope that the YouTube algorithm never ever show my video again to you. And for the rest of the people, in the next video we will do the weekly spreads. You see how I miserably fail to write every single quote in my journal. This was my August theme, guys. It was really easy to do, as you saw, I literally did one single thing and repeat it like 1000 times. It is a really quick one. I really enjoy this theme. I think I had it back then in 2018 because it was a really quick one. So yep, I think that's all for today. I can't believe that they finished this voiceover. And uh, yep, see you in the next video guys. And until then, don't forget to stay on the sunny side.